The second day you went back on the bus, somebody just put it in his stomach. Right where he got, where he got it. You know, and that child was crying, mommy, I don't want to go back to school, I don't like school anymore. And the rest of it. By the end of the school year, like about two months, there was so much craziness going on on the bus. And that, that carries over into the classroom in the mornings. And they go into the classroom with this mood that the teacher cannot control them. And then it, 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 it you know, snowballed from there. And you just didn't like school anymore. My son is brilliant. Didn't like school anymore. You want to do his homework. But then you want to get on the bus. He gets up in the evening. He's right. I, I, I can't take him myself. You know? So you know where my son is right now? He's in Barbados with his auntie going to school. So what I mean, he said he was going back to school. You go to the meetings. You talk. You beg. They're not meant to challenge. You can't get one to when we asked for one for my grandson is the bus, and we got her. There's a matron on the bus. I was there. I was in the parents, parents, parents who are who were even more involved than I am. We're begging for years. They didn't get it in the evening. They still don't get it. So what I wrote down is that you want like safer environments. You want safety monitors. Yes. You want, right? That, that's what I put down. Is there anything else that you want, like ideally? You know what? Um, the school itself is fine. Okay. I don't have a problem with that. Small, the classrooms are so small. Yes. yes. And even well, when it's small, sometimes they have two teachers in them. You know, so that is that is fine. This is the one is fine. And it's the inside. It's outside. It's the outside environment. Yeah. That, that, that's that. Yeah. And then I'm sorry, you wanted to say something. Um, oh yeah. Um, Fernando. You know, I personally, I think the the mayor really, you know. He, he really, or even, even the next mayor is really just going to be out for the rich and the, what he needs to know is that we're fighting. I think people like here in this room who are like, you know, fighting back against the landlord, um, fighting for, you know, the, against the bosses and the uh, supermarkets and fighting against police brutality, you know, the, they need to know that um, it's workers and working class people that run New York and that, you know, the, the mayor needs to know that we're, you know, that where we exist, we're fighting them, we could shut New York down. Yeah. You know, because they, you know, they, uh, you know, I, I'm a, I work for the MTA. Um, and I got there after the strike, but when the MTA went on strike, you know, that shut the city down. I mean, if they, you know, and that's the only thing they really respect, because they don't understand, you know, the mayor doesn't, you know, they, I think this is the best for them. What is going on in the schools, this is what they want. Because they can tell you they want education, they can say it over and over again. But the budget, what they do, what the what they put in the schools is really what they want, and this is this is already what they want. So we know that we can go in with clear silver eyes, and I think you know I'd like to come back to these meetings, um, you know, and continue, um, you know, and you know, and fighting. Because I think that's really, you know, it's not so much what the mayor needs to know, so, but you know how we got to get together to fight back. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. I think we need to wrap it up, or do you want to? Um, yeah, I think we have like five more minutes. Okay. We need more than one in the month to come to this meeting. More than one. We need more than one in the month. Yeah. yeah. What's more than one? Yeah, we can have more meetings in the month. Just, yeah. If you have a lot of meetings in the month, some people, you know, they'll say, hey, we'll go to this meeting. Every once in a while, last week, when then this meeting is the one that we're talking about, it's really important. So, but yeah, we can, there's ways that if people want to do things, you know, like their home or someplace close to them. We can have smaller meetings that people can go there specifically for certain issues that people feel that they want to come out and do. Because that way, then we can work together instead of, you know, one big meeting, you can have smaller other meetings. And that's and what we want to do. Yeah. Just talk to me or Ruby. Yeah, and the thing is that uh, through PS 2013, this process, we are looking to host more meetings in this neighborhood, right? So if you want to host a meeting and you want to invite me to come and to help facilitate the conversation and you want to bring 20 people together, I will come, right? And we can sit there and we can talk about education and what you really want and what the next mayor needs to do for you. Um, but I know that I don't have to wrap up. We could have talked a lot longer about this. I know, uh, but I know it was a really good start, and I'm hoping maybe you'll have me back whenever you can. But this survey right here is really, really important. Um, so we know that we are tra we're tracking the right, uh, that we're getting a diversity of people, 
that we are not just you know talking to just people in the Bronx or just people in Staten Island. That we need to talk to everyone to make sure that this is really a community vision for education. So if you can please uh, hand your completed surveys. Because teachers are not allowed to teach the kids um, you know, without limitation. All right. In our community, that's what's happening. Okay, now, last slide. <laughs> Okay.